I hope you had a really great weekend. Um, Kavera Flagwood has a special challenge for you today and for tomorrow. You need to create a creature, any kind of creature that you want, and you can do it any way that you want. You could draw it, you could paint it, you could use recycling materials, any kind of creature you want using the shapes circle, square, rectangle, or triangle, or you could use all of those shapes to make your creature. Then you're gonna add details to your creature, you're gonna name your creature, you're gonna give it a silly voice, and you're gonna share it with us on Flipgrid. I cannot wait to see your creatures. And actually, I have my very own creature today. I did not make this creature. However, I thought that she would be a really good creature to show you, to give you some ideas going on in your head. So um, I would like her to introduce herself to you. Can you tell my friends at home what your name is? Yo, my name is Skittles. Aw, Skittles, that is such a great name. I love it. And you, Skittles, are a creature. I am. I am a creature. I'm really not anything in particular. I'm not a goat. I'm not a monkey. I'm not an alligator. I'm just kind of me. I'm special just the way I am. Well, Skittles, you are super special. And you know something, Skittles? I noticed something about you. I noticed that you are covered in details. Well, you know what, the bear flat What? I don't have a clue what details are. Could you tell me? Sure, Skittles, I'd love to tell you what details are. Well, one of the details you have is you are covered in polka dots and they're all different colors. They're really beautiful. Maybe that's why they call you Skittles because you look like you have Skittles all over your body. Well, I do love my polka dots. I think they make me look beautiful. I think so too, Skittles. And you know what else I noticed? I noticed that on the top of your head, you have two horns, two pink horns. Well, I love my horns. And I noticed too that you have almost like a puffy patch of pink hair on the top. It's very beautiful. Well, thank you for noticing. I do love my puffy patch of hair, and I love my ears, and I love my nose. I'm very, very proud of myself. And did you notice my, my color is purple? Well, you know who's going to love that? Ruthie in our class, she loves the color purple. She's going to love that. But I definitely noticed that you're just full of detail. So guys, when you're making your creature, think of all the details you could add. Is your creature going to be full of polka dots like Skittles? Is your creature going to be full of stripes? Is your creature going to have silly hair or no hair at all? What is your creature going to look like? Well, you know what, Gavera Flatwood? I am just so excited to see their creatures. I hope you'll let me see. Well, of course, Skittles. I'll show you on Flipgrid, okay? Oh, Gavera Flatwood, I have a question for you. Sure. What's up, Skittles? I was wondering what that is. Well, that's my book. And you know what? I love this book, Skittles, because I love how the author uses his imagination to really make some pretty cool creatures. Do you want to read it with me? Well, I would love to. I'll just sit right over here and I will listen to the story. Well, that sounds lovely, Skittles. Okay, so guys, this is such a fun book. It's called Snarly Hissipus which is a silly made up name. It doesn't even mean anything. So when you name your creature, you could name your creature anything. It doesn't have to be a real name. It could be a name that you made up. And the author of this book made up the name Snarly Hissipus. It's not even a real word, but this is a really awesome story where the author and his name is Alan McDonald used his imagination to create just some really neat creatures in this book. Do you guys wanna read it with me? I thought so. All right, let's get started. This is Snarly Hissipus. And I apologize, my book is a little ripped because I have used this book for so many years and it's been so loved. And I probably need a new one someday, but for now it will do. One morning, Pelican met a new animal in the jungle she had never seen Oh, sorry, let me start over. Sometimes when you read, you have to start over. One morning, Pelican met a new animal in the jungle. She had never seen anything like it before. Hello, said Pelican. What kind of animal are you? I'm a hippopotamus, replied Hippopotamus. Pelican flew off to tell Monkey. Guess what, said Pelican. I've seen a strange new animal. What is it, asked Monkey. Pelican tried to remember. Um, it's a spotty hippomus, 
she said, do you guys see how the author used details to make a spotty hippomus, which isn't even really a name. There's spots all over and ears and a tail. Oh, I love it. Monkey swung off through the trees and found Zebra. Watch out, said Monkey. There's a huge, ugly creature heading this way. What is it? asked Zebra. It's a Wappa Bigga Mouse, said Monkey. Do you see how the author used details to create a Wappa Bigga Mouse? Zebra found Leopard sleeping in the shade. Run, said Zebra. There's an enormous slimy beast and it's chasing me. What is it? asked Leopard. It's a drip a slobber mouth, said Zebra. Oh my gosh, a drip a slobber mouth. Leopard ran ahead and told Anteater. What's wrong, said Anteater fearfully. It's not safe. There's a hairy, hungry, snarling monster and I can hear it coming. What is it, asked Anteater. It's a gripper snapper tooth, said Leopard. Ant Eater told the alarming news to Giraffe. Look out, there's a gigantic pink jelly thing coming and it will swallow you whole. What is it? asked Giraffe, trembling at the knees. It's a gulp of wobble tusk, said Ant Eater. <gasps> Giraffe found Elephant taking his nap. Wake up, wake up, panted Giraffe. A terrible, roaring, clawing, wild-eyed monster is going to gobble us all up. Elephant opened one eye. What kind of monster, he yawned? A snarly hyssopus. Elephant waggled his great ears and said he wasn't scared of monsters. He sent Giraffe to bring all the animals to the high hill. Now listen, this is my plan, said Elephant. We'll all hide and when the monster comes, we'll... Jump on it, push it, bump it, and shove it downhill to the muddy brown creek. That will teach it a lesson. All the animals agreed this was a clever plan and went to find hiding places. After a little while, they heard something moving in the bushes. The monster was coming. On a signal from Elephant, they all jumped on it, pushing, bumping, and shoving with all their might. They rolled the monster downhill into the muddy brown creek. Splash! There he goes. Hippopotamus rolled over in the warm, squishy mud. Oh, lovely, she said. Elephant stared. But you're not a monster. Where is the snarly hyssopus? Um, I think you're a bit mixed up, Hippopotamus giggled. I'm a hippopotamus, and hippopotamuses love mud baths. Have you ever tried one yourself? None of them had, so they all jumped into the muddy brown creek, and before long, it was hard to tell which of them was a hippopotamus and which was a what on earth am us. The end. So guys, I love that story. Because remember in the beginning of the story, Pelican met Hippopotamus and Pelican was trying to tell Monkey that he met Hippopotamus, but he couldn't remember the word Hippopotamus. So instead of saying Hippopotamus, he said Spotty Hippomus. And then Monkey told Zebra that it was a Wapa Bigga Mouse and they just kept forgetting the name over and over and over again and the name just kept getting sillier and sillier and the animal kept changing and changing and the author, the person who wrote the book, kept adding more and more silly details and it just got to be really silly. So I love this book and I hope that meeting um, Skittles and reading this book gives you some ideas of how you could possibly make your creature today. Use your imagination. Have a lot of fun. I can't wait to see your creatures. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye.